2024. But the country's economy expanded 7.6% in July-September quarter, surpassing the projections of 6.5% growth estimate by RBI. India's growth rate is almost twice the average of emerging market economies. What is really working for us? India's economic progression is being powered by the government's emphasis on public infrastructure investment, capital expenditure, and increased bank rate growth. Government spending has been up by 12.4%. Manufacturing and construction sectors have also seen growth with the rise in demand for new projects. The biggest boost in the growth came from services sector, which grew at 10.3% in the first quarter, up from 6.9% in the previous quarter. This can be attributed to strong growth in the financial, agri, real estate, and other services sectors as well. As an emerging economy, India has been able to control its inflation while many advanced economies are dealing with severe inflation and have not yet been able to stabilize these economies. According to IMF estimates, the Indian economy will emerge as the world's third largest economy by 2027, surpassing Japan and Germany's GDP as we are going to cross $5 trillion. Madam, <coughs> India's digital infrastructure is the best in the world. Our digital infrastructure development has helped in faster delivery of financial services and helped make a positive impact on financial inclusion. According to the G20 policy document prepared by the World Bank, India has achieved a remarkable 80% financial inclusion rate in just six years, a feat that would have taken nearly five decades without a digital in public infrastructure approach. Andhra Pradesh government, under the able and dynamic leadership of Mr. Jagan Mohan Reddy, has used this digital infrastructure to transform the state to next level. Madam, I would like to say what are all the developmental statistics that Andhra Pradesh has given in the economy situation of our country. Madam, AP records 50% GSDP growth in four years, jumping from 16 to 4. March 2019, Andhra Pradesh rank in terms of growth rate was 16 out of 28 states, with a GSDP of 8.7 lakh crore. However, as per the latest RBI report, 2022-23, Andhra Pradesh jumped to rank fourth in terms of GSDP growth in the country with a GSDP of 13.17 lakh crore. The state recorded 50% GSDP growth in the last four years. The second point, significant uptick in per capita income. AP moves from spot 17 to 9 in March 2019, Andhra Pradesh ranked 17th in the country with a per capita income of 1.5 lakh. In just four and a half years of CM Jagan led government, the per capita income has increased to 2.1 lakh rupees and currently has acquired ninth spot among the other states. This is, these are all RBI's handbook statistics, madam. The third one, the debt GDP. The, the, the debt growth, <coughs> sorry, the debt growth rate down by 111 percent, from 169 percent in 2014 to 58 percent in 2023. Under the Chandrababu Naidu's government in 2014, the debt growth rate of state name, was name high as 169 percent. Sir, sir name may However, not be mentioned. However, after gaining power. Mr. Sir, Jagan Mohan Reddy not only took measures may, may, to elevate may, the state's economic growth, sir. but also ensured that the debt growth slid down. <laughs> Madam, after four and a half years, the debt growth rate has drastically come down from 110% to 58%. This is also as per the records available. The record generation of government jobs, Madam, Till 2000, in, in, during 2014 to 2019, there were only 34,000 government jobs were filled. 
But in the last four and a half years of YSRCP government, 4.93 lakh sir, government jobs sir, are created. Sir, please refrain from mentioning names, created. sir. Please. Madam, ascending agricultural growth from second last, this is all contributed to the nation's economy, my friend. My friend, you know, you have to understand this. Ascending agricultural growth from second last to number seven in India. In March 2019, AP growth, agriculture sector growth was ranked 27th in the country with a negative growth rate of 6.5%. However, in a significant change, that state has ascended to seventh position in the last four and a half years. AP's agricultural growth rate now has been recorded as positive 5.5%. This is again handbook statistics of RBI, madam. Three times growth in industrial sector performance. During the 2019, the industrial growth rate was a meager 3.2%. But today, under the CM Jagan's government, the industrial growth rate has increased to 10.59%. Again, this is from RBA statistics. AP tops consecutively for two years in ease of doing business. This is also again from Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India source. Record five times growth in MSME in the last four years. During 2019, when my CM took over, it was only 37,956 MSMEs. But in the last four and a half years, it has gone up to 1.88 lakh MSMEs. This is also, you know, again, the statistics that are available on record. Industrial Star Wars always look to Andhra Pradesh. Madam, I would like to tell, Andhra Pradesh received the highest ever investment of 13.5 lakh crore during a single global investor summit held in March 2023. All the top Industrialists have, have invested to the huge extent and committed. These are all, again, sir, as per the statistics sir, please. available. Madam, please, I think sir, uh, my colleague has to understand. Thank you, sir. Ravindra, please. See. Then finally, ma'am, revolution in school infrastructure. Madam, in the last four years, 7,112 crores has been spent in government in government schools more than more than madam in introduction of english medium is one of the the best governance and best input that has come from andhra pradesh government 46 percent exponential rise in healthcare infrastructure it has increased from 28000 to 41000 crores the cm jagan government has developed more than 10,000 YSR village health clinics, which were never looked at it. Aragya Suraksha programs and also free medical camps, you know, what not, you know, there's a huge massive infrastructure boost, more than four ports, 10 fishing harbors, two airports, 17 medical colleges, three industrial corridors with five nodes, 10,078 right Bharosa Kendras, 15,000 gram Sachivalayams, 10,000 YSR health clinics, and all over 31 lakh house pattas to poor and other 22 lakh, 22 lakh houses are under construction. Madam, I have few suggestions. I have few suggestions for government of India to evolve into a $5 trillion economy. India must focus on several key areas, especially in new and emerging fields. Digital infrastructure and technology certainly need to be focused. Renewal energy it need to be focused. Financial sector need, reforms need to be focused. International trade and relations should be focused. Research and development initiatives should be focused. Judicial sector reforms must be focused. Bureaucracy reforms should be focused. Madam, I must tell you one thing. Under Prime Minister Modi's, under Prime Minister Modi's governance, this country has seen a lot of safety and security. There is a lot of discipline that has come in the system. I must tell you, starting from the shareholders to the investors to the industries, banking system, 
all the people that are there in the system sir, please, understand please conclude, the importance sir. of governance please and conclude. everybody is following a disciplined route. Madam, I would like to congratulate the Honorable Prime Minister and the Finance Minister steering our country during huge global uncertainties in an effective manner while bringing the maximum benefits to the Indian economy through all the diplomatic outreach initiatives. Thank you very much, Madam. Thank you, Madam. Mananiya Samsad, Srimati Priya.